Ah, something like that. That was rough. Um, I've been playing for like hours. How's it going guys? Uh, my name is Max and I'm a beginner guitarist. I've learned guitar completely from Eden Tutorials on YouTube, like this one. Um, so I thought I should start making some tutorials, help people out for, um, you know, songs that aren't out there right now. People might not know how to play because you're a beginner. So I'm going to keep this tutorial completely beginner friendly. This is a tutorial for Eden's Love Death Distraction, his newest track. And it's got great guitar in there, so I thought this would be a great one to do. So first things first, this is going to be in standard tuning, so E, A, D, G, B, E. Now we're only going to be using E, A, D, and G for the sake of simplicity. Uh, we don't need to be using the B or the E strings. Eden does, and I'll show you kind of how he does it and how it differs from what I'm teaching you. But uh, like I said, this is completely for beginners. Um, and I want to keep it as simple as possible. So we're just going to keep the same shape the entire song. It's going to be uh, completely in the shape of bar chords. Now, don't be scared if you know what bar chords are and you can't play them because, trust me, I couldn't for a long time either. But these are actually easy bar chords, uh, and I'll show you why. It's because they're not true bar chords. Um, the first chord is going to be a C minor. It's going to sound like that. So this is going to be um, your finger barring the 8th fret, finger down on every string. If you can't do that, don't worry about it. Uh, get it as good as you can. So that's your first finger, like I said, on the 8th fret. Then you've got your ring finger on the A string on the 10th fret, right? Then your pinky on the D string on the 10th fret. And then your, uh, the G string is going to be 8th fret. So your pointer finger is actually holding down that string. Right, that's the only uh, difficult part of this. Now usually, if you're using every string, that should sound like this. But, you take out the B string and the E string, and then you're just plucking the first four, right? E, A, D, G. Not as hard as a true bar chord, because you don't have to be pressing down uh, with your finger on the B and the E string. But you still do have to get that uh, the G string, which can be difficult, but work at it. Your finger strength will improve, you'll get there, don't, don't worry about it. So that C minor chord should sound like this. Right, now I'm going to teach you a plucking pattern that Eden uses. First of all, he plucks all four strings to start every chord in the song. So whenever you move to a new chord, always pluck all four. Sometimes he then continues on with this pattern that repeats. So allow me to try to explain this. So if we're talking about my right hand over here, right, that I'm plucking with, um, your thumb's going to be one, your index is going to be two, your middle's going to be three, and your ring finger's going to be four. So right one two three four makes sense um so you're gonna have those down here right thumb on the e string pointer on the uh, a string middle on the d string and ring on the g string so you take that c minor chord how he plucks is all together first and then three two one four three two one so the first part pluck it all together three two one Right? So that's your middle pointer thumb. 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. Right? And then the next part, after the 3, 2, 1 puck all together, 3, 2, 1 is 4, 3, 2, 1. And he plays that all really fast together. So like, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. He just keeps repeating it. So that first chord, you pluck it all together, right? And then you do the plucking pattern for like two counts. So it's gonna be... So ba ba da 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 da. So the next chord's gonna be B flat. That's moving down the fretboard a little bit. You're keeping the same shape of a bar chord, except you're making this a major bar chord now. So now your middle finger's actually gonna be doing something. Uh, this chord's a little bit easier because you don't have to uh, be really barring any strings with your pointer finger. Um, so the B minor chord is going to be E string, your pointer finger on the 6th fret, A string, your uh, ring finger on the 8th fret, and then the D string, your pinky finger on the 8th fret, and then the G string, 7th fret, middle finger. Sounds just like that. There's a major bar chord. So the first chord you pluck all together, right, and then go ba ba da 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 and then you move down to that B-flat we just learned, and you just pluck it all together, so. Right? That's what we got right now. Now, I know it's difficult. Just take it slow, right? So that's how we started off. Then, 
you do you don't do anything else with that B flat you actually move it up to E flat now this is where I differentiate from what Eden does Eden will bring his fingers up the strings and change the shape um, I'm not gonna try to explain the shape but that's his E flat now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that same shape from B flat we just learned and just move it up same chord just on different strings uh, I find it a bit um, easier uh, as a beginner guitarist so that's going to be your pointer finger on the 11th fret of the E string, your uh, ring finger on the 13th fret of the A string, D string, uh, 13th fret as well with your pinky, and then G string is going to be the 12th fret with your middle finger. Just like that. For this chord, you're going to pluck it all together like normal, and then go ba da 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 so this one's a little bit longer than the first uh, two. So really slowly, those three together is... And then you move on to the next chord. I would take a second to practice that, get it down before you move on. He plucks each chord a different amount of time so it can get really confusing. <clears throat> I'll demonstrate that one more time. I'm going to try to pick up speed a little bit for those of you who've got it down. If not, rewind, um, figure it out, take your time, don't even worry about it. Next we've got the G minor. So that's going to be taking that minor shape that we learned for the first chord, right? And you move it down to where your pointer is on the third fret. Right? So now your pointer is on the E string, third fret. A string um, is your ring on the fifth. D string is your um, pinky on the fifth. G string is uh, your pointer finger holding it down on the third. Just like that, G minor. Now this chord's gonna be getting the same length as the first chord we learned. So ba da 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 da. Right. So do that down here, and then we change it up. So all together now you have this. And then this is the part where he takes half a count to move up for each chord. So it's like, da, 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 right? Sounds confusing and complicated. Kind of is, kind of not. If you're a beginner, it can be difficult, I understand. But they're, they're pretty easy chords. None of them, uh, they're all major shapes. So it should be easy, right? So it's going to be fast, like, there you go. So we have a new chord, A flat, um, and that's going to be your major chord shape. Um, on the 4th fret, pointer on the 4th fret, so index finger on the 4th fret, E string, then your ring finger on the A string, 6th fret, D string, uh, pinky finger, 6th fret, G string, 5th fret, middle finger, A flat. Um, then the next chord, you're just plucking that all together. Next chord is B flat, we actually already learned this one, it's actually the second chord we learned, right? We went... That second one's a B flat. So we're 10 on this G minor right now, like that. Pluck it like the first chord, and then you're sliding up really quickly to the B flat, A f or sorry, A flat, B flat, and then back to that C minor we started on. So really slowly, that sounds like this. One more time. pluck that first chord the same way you plucked it at the beginning of the song but then we're gonna have a new chord I know this is super fun um, <laughs> it's gonna be all the way down here minor shape and it's gonna be F minor so that is your pointer finger on the E string first fret your ring finger on the A string third fret pinky on the third uh, sorry pinky on the third fret D string G string first fret you're barring that with your pointer it can be difficult work at it you'll you'll figure it out right so there's your F minor so all together this is what you should have right now just to check up right this is gonna be I'll do it nice and slowly right right 
Okay, see how it's all coming together? So when you're hanging on this F minor chord, I think you're actually holding it for the same length as when you're doing that E flat chord, right? Right, it's that same length, except he throws in a few extra notes. So if you want to play it the most simply you can, uh, just play it for like those four counts just on this chord, plucking, like, like I've taught you, right? And then you move on to the next chord. Now if you want to throw in some fanciness there that I can't even really do very consistently, he plucks it all the way through one time, and then he throws in a few notes in there, which are different from the, the chord shape. So, he actually plucks, um, if you keep your finger barred up here, the high E string, and then he plucks the B string with your, I put my pinky on the fourth fret, and then my ring finger on the third fret of the, the G string. So it's like, right, something like that. Uh, it should sound like this. He throws that in there after he plucks through the one time, so da 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 right? I messed up there a little bit, right? I'm <laughs> I'm playing it poorly and slowly, but you can hear it in the recording and when he plays it live, he throws those notes in there. I know those are the notes, I don't know exactly how he does it, but you can figure it out because I bet you're a better guitarist than I am. So after he plays that F minor chord, he moves back on up to that G minor plays it for the same length you played the first chord, right? Like two counts, or three counts. Ba -da 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 -da. And then he moves it up again, back to the B flat, which we've already learned. And then he, for the same length, da -da 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 -da. right? And then he repeats that entire thing I just taught you all over again. So allow me to run through it very slowly, um, just to make sure that we're clicking with how this all works, right? This is where he starts to switch things up, and we go into the, uh, I don't know what it's called, the pre-chorus or something. All with chords we've already learned, so it's actually going to be really simple, really easy. You can move down to that A-flat that we already learned. He plucks each of these for like eight counts, so he repeats that plucking pattern for like eight counts, so about this long. Then he moves on to the next chord. The next chord is going to be your G minor. And then he moves up to the B flat. And then back down to the A minor again. You can actually listen to this song or check uh, his live stream of him playing it to see exactly how long to play it and how it goes with the music. I could try to show you an example, but you're gonna, I think, grasp the concept a lot more if you're playing along with him, uh, the length of each each chord. So this last chord he actually plays when he hangs on that E, f the, the A flat. He only plays it for about half the length of the other ones, and then he goes down to the G minor and plucks all four together. And then he goes on into the chorus, right? So that pre-chorus bit is going to sound something like this. I'm not going to do the plucking with it because I literally can't process singing and plucking it at the same time. But this will give you an idea of the length of each chord. And if we're all just drifting by phones in the air Face to the sky And all this time to Realize there's nothing stopping you from leaving. Right, so it's something like that, except he's plucking through the entire thing. 
my brain can't process it. I would need to practice it more. I've only just learned like wh uh, how to play it on guitar, not how to sing with it. <laughs> Because I've only been learning this song for like a day. But you get that. So, let's move on into the chorus. Now the chorus, he starts on a uh, E flat, which was the third chord we learned um, in, the, in verse 1. So each chord gets about four counts. So it's going to be E flat, and then you move down to B flat, and then you move down to A flat. So, one, two, three, four, one, two... Three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The last chord gets eight counts, and these are plucked all together. No plucking after that. So he just actually holds them out. This is actually how he plays it. So he does that one time through, just like this. And please don't go drift away. Passing on. Passing over. And then he switches it up and he actually, for the first chord of that next little bit, um, he plays the first chord we learned, the C minor. And then the next two remain the same B flat, A flat. All held the same lengths. So that second part goes like this One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. A flat, six, seven, eight. Right, so the whole chorus should sound something like this all together. And please don't go drift up. Stay when you're passing on, you're passing over. And please don't go drift up. Right, and then he goes in to just like how verse one was, and he literally repeats that entire thing. So, right, everything we learned before this, he does it all again, exactly the same. So now you basically know verse two, you know that pre-chorus because he repeats it again, and then actually the last chorus is very different. Um, right, it's like the first chorus, but very extended. So I'm gonna jump right into that part. So he basically just varies it up for this last chorus because it's very extended. I mean, you'll p just pick it up over time, right? It's the same thing, except he switches between using that E flat as the first chord and that C minor as the first chord a few times, right? So the first time he goes through those those three chords, it's the E flat. He does this three times. So right, E flat. B flat, A flat, right? E flat, B flat, A flat, E flat, B flat, A flat. Obviously at the same speed we were playing it before. I'm just doing this to zoom through real quick. So he runs through that three times. Then he switches one time to using the C minor as the first chord. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And then he switches back to using the E flat. He does this two times, so E flat, B flat, A flat. Does it again. E flat, A flat, B flat. Then he switches back to the C minor. He does this three times through. C minor, B flat, A flat, C minor, B flat, A flat, C minor, B flat, A flat. Song's over. <laughs> Except he doesn't play it at that speed, obviously. So if you do it all together, it should sound a little bit something like this. Please don't go drift Please don't go Just 
Lost in your constellation Planets in your solar system Wasting breath is wasted on you. Please don't go drift. Please don't go drift. Might have screwed up a little bit in there, but if you go watch um, Eden play, you'll see that he just switches, um, switches it up a little bit. Um, also, I've literally barely listened to the song, so the you know me singing out of tune and all that stuff, it happens. Um, but yeah, that's basically the song, and I hope you guys enjoyed, it, and I hope that it, it helped you out. Feel free to let me know like what other kind of tutorials you guys would care to see the most for Eden. And I'll get on it. I think I'm already going to get on doing a tutorial for just saying really, really soon here. And then other stuff as well. But thank you so much for watching. And let me know what you liked about this tutorial or what I could do better in the future. See you in the next one.